The gators are migrating. Do I have your attention? If not, why are you still watching? Okay, well here. What if I were to bring him back to the laundry room and leave it exactly where I found it? Have you seen any detective movie ever? You never return to the scene of a crime. What are you doing with my bra? What is wrong with you? That may have been an even worse idea than the last one. Hello, random people. This is Random Stuff, bringing inspirational content to your world. I'm your host, Ben. You might know me from such things as last week's episodes of Random Stuff, or maybe you might know me from real life. Either way, we got another set of amazing films this weekend for you. So today's piece is Laundry Room, written by Devin Ross and directed by someone. Laundry Room tells the story of a budding relationship thrown into the seas of uncertainty by a dryer cycle. Now, hope you're as excited for Laundry Room as I am. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hey, uh, hi, uh, I'm so sorry, I'm, I, I totally forgot quarters back in my dorm and my dorm's like all the way on the other side. Uh, I was wondering if I could borrow 50 cents. Sure, it's Jack, right? Yeah. I think you're in my anatomy class. Yeah, 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 right. Um, I actually sit right behind you. Here. Wow, no thanks, you're a real lifesaver. So, how are you liking college? College is good, I guess. I don't really know my way around yet. Oh, I mean, I, I could show you around. I lived here all my life. Well, well, not here, here. Like 10 minutes away, in a neighborhood. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. Maybe you could show me around sometime. Yeah, yeah, totally. I, I could take you to the dining hall, show you around, you know, give you a middle swipe, pay for that 50 cents. <laughs> yeah, why not? That sounds fun. Hey, awesome. So, like, right now, or? Uh, <laughs> If you want, but don't you want to finish your laundry first? <laughs> yeah, my bad. So, how about tonight then? Tonight's great. Around five, maybe? Five, perfect. Alright, cool. I'll meet you at your dorm. I'll see you then. I thought you were doing your laundry. Not trash in our room. Whoa, what do you got there? No, 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 no. This is not funny, man. You don't understand. <laughs> this belongs to Emily, the cute girl, the one I've been in love with since like ever. And she fell in love with you and gave you her bra? No, 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 no. I was just there and then. And you stole her bra? What is wrong with you? Oh, shit, shit, shit. This is bad. This is bad. We can figure this out. I just need to get it back to her. Uh, how, about, how about I knock on her door? And I just hand it to her. Oh my god, my bra! Thanks, Jack! I can't believe it! You're my hero! What delusional world do you live in? She's 
gonna see you holding it and think you've stolen or something. She'll look at you like a psychopathic murderer. What the heck? Is that my bra? What is wrong with you? You can't do that. That's the worst idea ever. Okay, well, here. What if I were to bring it back to the laundry room and leave it exactly where I found it? Have you seen any detective movie ever? You never return to the scene of a crime. What are you doing with my bra? What is wrong with you? That may have been an even worse idea than the last one. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Oh, crud, it's too risky. You know, I need to find a way to get it back to her about her even realizing. Okay, well, what if, what if I sneak into her room in the middle of the night when everyone's dead asleep and with my stealth, no one will hear me coming. And I mean, once I'm in her room, I could just sneak her bra back into her dresser and she could just find it in the morning. She'll never even know I was missing. Okay, that's good, except for one thing. There's no way in hell you're gonna get in there without her waking up. And if she does wake up, she's gonna see this creepy old dude standing there with her bra. What the hell? What are you doing in here? Get out of here! What are you doing, you creep? What is wrong with you? Okay, you know what? Screw this. This is pointless, man. You know, I, I finally meet the girl in my dreams. Now it's all gonna be ruined over a... Hey, guys. You almost ready to go? Uh, yeah, I, uh... I, Is I, that I, my bra? Uh, yeah, I, 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 you know, I wasn't. I've been looking for that all day. I thought I dropped it coming out of the laundry room. Now you're the lifesaver. Thanks. Yeah. Well, should we go? Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> So we're here with Devin Ross, the writer of Laundry Room. Hello, Devin. Hi. Here we are with our guest of today, and that is Markel Toves. Markel, how you doing? I'm doing very good. Nice to see you. If you could take me back to when the idea struck you for the first time. You know, it actually wasn't my idea. It was um, Alex's, our DP's. Um, he kind of came to me with the idea, and then he was like, can you just write it? And I said, yep. So how did you get involved in Laundry Room? Moses just randomly saw me. Uh... Uh, in the field of Best Hall, and he was like, hey, do you want to audition for a film that we're doing? It's called Laundry Room. We didn't know any actors. It was literally like our, maybe our third month, like living in the dorms. So we were just like walking like door to door, like knocking on people's doors, being like, are you an acting major? Are you an acting major? Um, and we couldn't find anyone. We've, we've been at it for like hours. And then we I met Alex and then Devin. Was there any personal experience that you brought into the script? No, I remember. <laughs> um, because it was kind of like flawed a little bit because his whole idea was about like um, a guy finding a bra in the dryer and it's like you don't put bras in the dryer so like as a girl I was like okay that's that's not right but I guess it's funny. There's some questions surrounding who directed Laundry Room. Was there a director? What was that all about? Definitely Moses. I think it was just like an ego thing so we were all like freshmen. It was our first film. Nobody wanted to be like I want to be director. Moses, uh, Devin, and Alex is that they allow you to share your creative side, you know? They allow you to express your creative freedom and exercise it, which is incredibly healthy as an artist. And this being one of like the first films that you collaborated on, was that important in order to form those connections for the first time? It was because uh, I shot it with Moses Lawley and Alex Tetzner, and um, from that point, like all of my other films were done with them. Was this the first short film you did at ASU? That was the first one. That, that introduced me to everyone else, and dang, that was, that was great. That was very great. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that set like? It was a smaller set. We only had um, a DP and then Moses who kind of acted as like a director. It was fun for me. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Thank you, Moses, Alex, and Devin. You guys really like introduced me to so many other amazing artists and I thank them so much for that. So much. Thank you so much for coming on here and chatting about writing Laundry Room. It's been great having you. And I appreciate you coming on here. Hey guys, did you know we have a website? We do. A website? Yeah, yeah, we do have a website. It's www.randomstuffentertainment.com. And you should visit it. 
So we chose Laundry Room because it's a unique story featuring some great performances as well as work from some of our favorite collaborators and truly highlights how clueless men really are. So tomorrow we have something special for you. It's, what we, what's tomorrow again? Cheers, man. Oh, um, come back for that if you're into that sort of thing, I guess. And hopefully we'll see you then. Am I really hosting again tomorrow? You took a vote, man. <laughs> okay. Hey there. If you like these videos and want to see more, think about liking and subscribing down below. Also, check out some of these videos.